From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This week I'm asking you, my fellow weirdos, to join me in raising money for food for the poor. You'll be saving the lives of children and families in Haiti and Guatemala, and a single, one-time gift of just $50 will provide food for a year and clean water for life for a child. Learn more at MarlarHouse.com slash Food for the Poor or click the Food for the Poor square at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Thanks. A New Jersey high school student who hopes to become a funeral director surprised her classmates by arriving at her prom in an open coffin. The boys at her school did say she was drop-dead gorgeous. Recent research reveals that British men would rather date someone with a fuller figure, such as Kate Winslet. One in seven women admit they take drastic measures, even winding masking tape around their thighs to hide cellulite. But one in three men didn't even know what cellulite was. And one in five thought it was a type of battery. American Idol is going to return next spring on ABC. Finally, we're bringing back a TV show that introduces us to more mediocre talent. Ohio 7th grader Zachary Bolin has been suspended from school for 10 days after liking a photo of an airsoft gun on Instagram. Great job there, thought police! Yeah. Oh yeah, also suspended a kid who made a gun gesture with his thumb and index finger and another who had a joke gun that shoots a flag proclaiming BANG BANG! Antonio Sabato Jr. has been a model for Calvin Klein underwear. Now he's running for Congress in Southern California. <sighs> Who knew we would be longing for the days when only actors and reality TV stars would be running for political office? Some coffee shops are turning off their Wi-Fi so that customers are forced to talk to each other. And if that doesn't work, we're going to stop serving coffee! While Qantas CEO Alan Joyce was making a speech to 500 people at a business breakfast in Perth, a man calmly walked up on stage and threw a pie in his face and then walked off. Apparently Australians have some strong opinions about airlines, too. In Aberdeen, UK, student Tracy Emin left a pineapple at an art exhibit as a prank. The staff apparently thought it was a piece of art and put it on display in a glass case in the center of the exhibition at Robert Gordon University. The prank worked so flawlessly that the piece of fruit was apparently on display for six days before it was taken down with the rest of the expedition. Rowry Gray, 22, who actually bought the pineapple, said their goal was to see how long it would remain there before being removed. They placed the pineapple on the empty display stand and returned four days later to find it had been put in a glass display box. He said, quote, we were shocked and in disbelief we didn't stop laughing for about 10 minutes, unquote. Curators eventually realized their mistake. The art exhibition called Look Again challenged visitors to look at the places and spaces around us through fresh eyes. Sally Reaper, the Look Again Festival director, said it was very clear to us that it was a prank, but we've decided to leave it there because it's in keeping with the playful spirit of our festival. Right, sure, you meant to leave it there, uh-huh. Yeah, suck on that, snooty art lovers. The Michigan man says a spider is responsible for his rollover crash. The 26-year-old man told deputies he was distracted by a spider on the visor above his head and drove his 2005 GMC Envoy off the road. The vehicle crashed into a ditch before coming to rest against several trees. Not to worry, though, the spider came out of it without injury. Right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur by visiting MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff or click the Free Stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Offer expires June 2nd. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free, and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For May of 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo, and you can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!